one of those things about life. Baby. That's why we're on Real Talk USA with the Real Estate Gate, talking with Brittany Krupnik uh, from Blissful Abode Interiors. Brittany, can staging be used as a marketing tool for realtors? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think it's important to know that, I mean, listing agents um, especially, um, you want to be seen as someone who can get a listing on the market and get it sold quickly and for top dollar. Sure. And when you've got um, a stager involved and you you bring in someone or recommend a stager, right. um, then it bumps up um, the probability of having that home sell faster and for more money. And that's great for that the agent's reputation. Gotcha. Is there a specific, I don't know if this is a loaded question or not, but it probably is because I'm famous <laughs> for those. Is there is there a, a typical cost? For staging a vacant home, like do you charge people to bring in furniture? They don't obviously buy the furniture, right. but what's a typical cost to say for a three bedroom, two bath home, 1,400 square feet, you're going to come stage it. What would you be looking at cost wise? Sure. So starting would be somewhere around $1,650 and that okay. would be for 60 days okay. and that includes everything. Really? Mm -hmm. So 1650 bucks for 60 days of staging a home. Yeah. Yeah. And it can vary, but I find that most of the time for a three bedroom, two bath, if it's got one living, one dining space sure. and a master, yeah. starts about 1650 if it's a large single story, right? Or about you said fourteen hundred, so right. probably sixteen fifty is about what we're looking at. All right, that's great. This is Real Talk USA, the real estate guy, I'm talking with Brittany Krupnik of Blissful Abode Interiors. Mm -hmm. Water. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, baby, make it cool.